Hey, how's it going? <sighs> Shitty. That's why I'm on here. My pillow is right on my crotch if you want to feel what I got. Put your mouth on it and let me make you my... Oh, hello? Do this pillow thing. Let's meet up and have some fun. super sweet and really fitting for a time when it's hard to make new connections and form new relationships with people. Um, you really get to know their characters really well through the way they're talking and there's kind of this innocence to it and how they kind of uh, are like off put by each other at first. Um, the colors are really good. Like, both of their apartments are stylized so well and I love uh, seeing them interact with each other across the world. I, I just thought it was it was really sweet, it was really cute, it was really fitting for the time, and um, I felt like I really got to know the characters. That was really interesting. I found it um, interesting to have this idea of, like, a long-distance relationship, like, through the phone, but, like, this through-the-phone love and, like, how that – and how this love and passion, like, relates through that and, and how you work with that. And I think you did a great job of, of utilizing split-screen um, – in in changing the the arrangement of s split screen um in each scene to kind of help along with the tone of the piece um i also think you did a you you had like a great choice of lighting contrasting the two um kind of like a warmer versus cooler like um like blues versus reds and yellows. I, I thought it was really nice um, kind of showing like a contrast between the two and why they, they might be apart from each other, but why they also like need each other and they balance each other out. Um, I especially love this idea of like describing on the phone um, someone's food and painting it out. It was just really interesting um, and a really interesting use of like uh, off screen acting with each other so i really enjoyed the very, piece very uh, interesting take on the future of dating for sure i mean you know it, we definitely have devices kind of like this like alexa that we can talk to whatever but it, it seems in, in in the world of this piece that this kind of this white monolithic device that looks like an iceberg is kind of a common thing that a lot of people have and they're using it specifically just for for dating um, and dating um, by by talk over distance. So you know it's a uh, it's an interesting society that we're that we're seeing here, and it's uh, being be expressed by this conversation between two guys in their respective homes. So um, it's kind of it's pretty cool though. They're making kind of a, a bigger societal statement by um, but you know showing us it in a, in a micro way, but with a conversation between two people. So I really dig that. I dig the concept. And the actors were great. They were very likable. Um, they did a great job. The, the script was good. The editing was good. The directing, the pace was excellent. Um, you know, the funny parts were good. The serious parts uh, were good. It all it was all well, you know, shot and, and lit and everything. So um, it's definitely a really good piece. It works really well. And like I said, it kind of is kind of making a statement, something to, something to think about, um, you know, regarding the future and the future of dating and what it's going to be like and and all this. So, uh, yeah, good luck to everybody. Great job. So beautiful. I was so invested in the, these characters love story and my heart shattered, <laughs> even with technology as it is now, not as advanced as this. I have to believe that it's, you know, it's, it's not impossible to find somebody again. And I'm sure they'll both be looking very diligently for one another. Um, I have to say the acting was, really really incredible i think both actors did such a great job of showing that openness but also the vulnerability which happens when you're talking to somebody for the first time there's that bit of awkwardness and hesitation um and we kind of get to see both of them slowly opening up and, and taking that that next step with with one another and it was just such a beautiful progression to watch um i like how they did this the split screens the music really ugh, it really just did exactly what it was supposed to do and i really liked the the lighting and like the styling of both of their apartments they were very distinct um they did just a great job of like creating the worlds of both of these characters um i i can't say enough 
great things about this. I was fully in it from the very beginning. Amazing job. It was job. really, really clever um, because in a lot of ways it expands off of a lot of things that people have gotten reused to or had to adjust to during um, the last couple of years with the, um, the pandemic and different lockdowns. Um, I feel like being over Zoom or doing um, kind of online dating and things like that has changed and um so i thought the concept was really interesting having like a physical pillow um that helps transmit what the other pillow is feeling i thought that was really interesting um but i really liked how they built their connection how they kind of like took it from like a slow genuine place and built off of that um to the end and that you got such a pure like moment and it didn't necessarily lead to anything else except for that. It's like the perfect kind of um, romance film to have during the pandemic because there's this sense of isolation and separateness into it. It's reminiscent of a more lighthearted uh, Black Mirror episode, in my opinion. And it's a wonderful concept that is so lovingly executed. I really just so much enjoyed watching it because the two performers really sell the roles. And they maintain the sincerity that is sometimes hard to come by in the romance genre these days, which can be riddled with so much um, overwrought sentimentality. But this is so earnest and true that it really brings the piece um, a groundedness that's needed. Yeah, I thought this one was really cool. I love the way that it was edited. I think it's a really creative idea, you know, um, kind of it reminded me of Black Mirror in a lot of ways because of the kind of how it intertwines um, technology and just, you know, how people interact with it. Like, I, I thought that it was really creative, and I think that it, like most good sci-fi, it kind of, like, shines a light on, uh, rather than, like, future technology, sort of, like, how we're feeling in the moment. And I think it's a very personal, um, compelling short film. I think the two the two actors had great chemistry with each other and again yeah I really loved the way that it um, was shot and edited I think it's super creative and um, yeah just very visually interesting I really loved this short um, the concept the premise was such an interesting one it's just a cool idea that someone came up with and I love that um, it was very uh, it was very interesting to use it in the dating sense as well um, the art style was um, uh, like very uh, interactive and I really liked how the just the, the lighting changed from um, everything and the juxtaposition and the parallelism between both of the apartments was phenomenally done. I loved how it, it it was very engaging with both of the sets and it really benefited the story and it was just a very it was really good. Uh, the ending really like just like hit me. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the short.